Greetings everyone, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna be continuing on with the story of Fontaine. And yeah, and so- Oh shit, I didn't mean to talk to you. Uh, see you. I- I found out, um, that I'm pretty sure it's ne um, next update. Is the fact that Hu Tao is coming back. Yes. Hu Tao is coming back. So, I'm going- I'm going to have to spend my primos on Hu Tao. And then I'll sp and then if I don't get Hu Tao, I'll spend money on Hu Tao. And then if I get Hu Tao, you know, I'm going to spend money on Farina as well because I doubt I'll be able to get Farina after I get Hu Tao. So so yeah, I want to get both of them cuz they're two of my favorite characters from Genshin Impact. And by the way, let let's just continue onwards into uh this is Linny's house, right? Yeah. I came here several no. times with my father is when it? I was little. I don't remember. Often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. We're, I forgot that we were, um, we're going to eat out with Navia. I forgot oh, don't about <laughs> We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. Paimon's getting excited already. Oh, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. Um, okay. Everything looks so good. People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life. <laughs> Why, of course. Go ahead, try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. <laughs> and if okay. it's not? Well, uh, <laughs> then I'll still bring everyone. Albeit with only one dish per table. <laughs> you, uh, sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case after all. It's certainly worth celebrating. It was a pleasure working with you. This one. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. What? <laughs> they haven't even started. Yeah, they haven't even started eating this food. And that's massive, dude. Look at that bowl, bro. That's just a pot. It's a pot on a plate. And my god, dude. Speaking of cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? I don't know. Well, we've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still don't know what they are really after. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like that. Um, okay. <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. If only that guy could have finished speaking! We were so close to hearing who was behind it. In such investigations, I don't the know how many um, like acts there are <laughs> the trail of clues in chapter 4 as, as of right now. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability, it's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single narrow perspective. Mm -hmm. A shift in thinking oh, is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Spina di Rosula? Those highfalutin folk are not all knowing. That's why we exist to seep into the cracks where filth falls through, where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Cool. Hmm, seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. It's all right. Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal, so I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? Let's um, talk about something yeah. else. Okay. Like, uh, what are your future plans? We want to ask the Hydro Icon Archon for some information. That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial ended. Didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. I see. So, your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while, considering that you missed your chance today. We've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess, well, but you never know. Would you consider some more, uh, meek ways? Perhaps even methods of, let's say, 
questionable legality? Bro, what, 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 what are you talking you about, dude? You make crimes, bro? What did you have in mind? Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play. Don't you think? <laughs> Could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard. Right. Here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then, what? wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers all your questions. I can personally testify that this one works. When I'm sleeping, <laughs> I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Valid point. I overlooked that part. <laughs> I was just thinking about leveraging fuck? a person's desire for sleep. How can you overlook something like that? <laughs> All right, no more joking around. Perhaps you could. Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. You mean that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. It's worth a try. Would someone with her personality really feel a little shame? It's worth a try. Why don't we give it a try after this meal? Strike while the iron is hot and all. Uh, yeah, huh? sure. Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Uh, was this your drink? Fanta? What the fuck? Uh, Fanta, <laughs> yes. It's, it's my Fanta. Would you like to order another? No, it's fine. Why is the cup We're all the way over done. there, though? All right. Why is the cup Honestly, not next to you? Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. I'd have to agree. Is that so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here then. <laughs> if we're all finished eating, then I'll go Okay. Pay. Um. Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. Okay. Um. What now? Are we going to... We're going to try to go speak with the Hydro Archon. You could try walking, you know. You could try flying a little. You could try walking. Yeah, that would be so normal. You know, like this. Hey, hmm. who are you calling normal? Okay. As for expenses this month, we're left with. Hey, Navia, what are you doing over there? Yeah, oh, Navia. That thing. It was just a meal, you know. Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> Seems that was pretty tough for her. That was a pretty pricey meal, all thanks to Paimon. <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your request the highest um, priority. How the fuck do I do that, huh? <laughs> uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. See ya! Okay. Uh, we started Act 2 as Light Rain Falls. Okay. Um, go to the Fountain Plaza in front of the Opera House. Okay, let's go there. I still don't know where this one is. Um, but we gotta go to the Opera House, which is all the way over here. Huh. We have made it. There aren't many people around anymore. Looks like that boat we took to Araneus might have been the last one. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe. Why is my audio like, like that? Hold again. up. Why is it? It's Trevor? it's 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 Are quite quiet. I don't know. Yes, and it's clearer than it was uh, during the day. That's kind of spooky. Are you sure we don't want to come back in the morning? Because <laughs> Vache. I can feel strong emotions. Things are getting a little blurry. This one. Hang on. Paimon can kind of hear a voice. It's calling for Vache, right? Yes. Traveler, stop walking. Come on, wake up. 
Um, what's going on? It's a, uh, um, Oceanid. Where's this? Are you my dear Vache? No, wait. You seem to be someone else. Do you know Vache? Do you know where my love is? Um, I'm afraid not. <laughs> wait. Who am I? I'm very sorry. I fear I do not know. Damn, bro. My memories feel like they have been washed away like a flood. So many fragments dissolved amidst the tide. Never to be recovered. How much have I lost? How many things that I once held dear while on land have I since forgotten? You were once. Yes, that is what I was once. But now, I am but the consciousness of one who has lost their form. You lost your form. I do not know how I came to be like this either. I only vaguely remember being covered in light blue water and it all grew dim. Light blue water? Could that have been? Could she be one of the girls who were dissolved? This one. I also remember going to many places. I loved adventure, loved exploring places of peril. No matter where I went, Vache would go with me. I knew how dearly he loved me, and I also loved him equally as much. But now, damn, bro, we can no longer go back. The pain of such parting, I never knew how heavy it could be. So, you need me to find him. No. Reunion no longer has any meaning. There is no way for us to create any new memories. The thought of me gives him no succor, so let it lie forgotten beneath the water. If you meet, what if this is the first person that went missing? Tell him not to look for me. Tell him to move on. That is the only thing I still remember. I believe it'll be hard for him to forget you. Perhaps that is so, as I was submerged in the waters. Losing consciousness, I saw Vache above the surface. His eyes were filled with such sorrow, such longing. If only I could have comforted him, told him that I did not suffer. Indeed, I had felt a great warmth. <laughs> Goddamn, Vache was a witness to the fact that she dissolved. Is that what you call it? Dissolving anything? I consider it a form of release. It was a state of neither fear nor frenzy, with only an endless peace, like the water still surface. I could also liken it to being a thirsty person who drinks water for the first time, and only then sees how they have lived for so long in a world of endless want and anxiety. It seems that after the body is dissolved, some measure of the consciousness still remains. This one. I think I hear your companion. It's time for you to go, I think. That Paimon? Alright, I wonder how much time has passed in reality. <laughs> Farewell then. I am glad that you were able to sense my presence. Remember, if you see Vache, tell him not to seek me out any longer. What if Vache is, is the reason why he got dissolved, bro? You know? What if Vache dissolves you? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Why are the robots attacking? Oh no. The robots are attacking. So Navia is a Claymore user. Cool. Who are those? It's you! What the fuck? Where are where, where, you doing this? Or no. What? Okay. Okay, so she attacked him. Cool. Chlorand is a sword character. And what, what sword is that? What's her cannon sword? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know any of the names of the swords. And I can't even see this one properly, so. It seems she is going to be an Electro character. She has a gun. I don't know if uh, you'd be able to use that gun like you do whenever you, uh, whenever you play as freaking what's his name again? The bird guy. I don't fucking know his name, I remember. Amika, right? Yeah, Amika. He pulls out a crossbow. Uh, using his, uh, his skill, you know, maybe, uh, Cloran can do that with the gun. <laughs> I should thank you for lending us your sword there, Cloran. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? <laughs> I followed you. It seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. Okay, I that following but someone Navio, without their why were you even here? <laughs> Mr. I Countess's guess so. last wish was for me to ensure your safety. 
and I will not betray his trust. He would do the same were he alive today. Do not speak of my father. Oh, Sorry, okay. Demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Bruh. Thank you for your aid, Miss Coran, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry, I did not consider your feelings. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you. But I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. Uh, to be honest, I'm shocked it's taken what? this long to act What element? Me. Oh, she's a Geo. I was about to say, what element is what uh, Navia? But I just noticed I her sigil. I only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal um, means. Yeah. Forming them as a private force of sorts. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula? Seems like them? it. Yes. Be careful and do not act rashly. I will continue investigating no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. Regardless, uh -huh. thank you for your help today, Clarand. Cool. <laughs> but if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, and then Clarand right. just walks away. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. Yeah. Also, I believe that Miss Clarand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. Can you shut up, old man? I know, I just... She's... What just happened? Oh, thank goodness! Paima thought we were done for! Those Gardamex came out of nowhere while you were unconscious, <laughs> and Nadia and her gang saved us! Why was she here in the first place? Oh, and there was that champion duelist named Clorin who came out to save us too! We got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Loran's the person that uh, Tartaglia was talking about. Fighting and shit like that. Oh, so you're a fighter now, Paimon. Oh. <laughs> Come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. Uh -huh. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. If it were me, okay. I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. All right, you two. That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Uh, what? Really? Paimon contributed to that? All thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. How did that help? So yeah. We parted ways. I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted salty and icky. What do you mean? Oh, uh, wait. Do you mean that? Fanta <laughs> only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the Primordial Sea? Yes. Whoa. So if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Spina di Rosula is preparing the greatest <laughs> of awards for you as we speak. Okay, damn, bro. Fortunately, Paimon, neither of us are from Fontaine. I sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate. But whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. Ah, damn. Why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny and Court and help clear his name. Oh, now we're caught up in this mess too, aren't we? You did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of, and almost got their name in the process. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Well, it can't be a coincidence that the traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too, but it was real faint. Does 
this situation have to do with the primordial seawater thing? According to Lynette, uh, the ability to hear voices like that has to do with one's sensitivity to the hydro element. Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? <laughs> that doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. I also gained some new intel. New intel? While you were out cold? Yes, uh, totally. Well, let's hear it, shall we? <sighs> the voice in the fountain belongs to one of the missing women. A person named Vashir was witness when she dissolved. Oh, that is important. You tell everyone about what happened while you were connected to Dave. Blah, blah, blah. That name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never yeah. or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. If he's still alive. Threatened? Yes. Thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. By we, you mean us too, oh, right? You mean you'll help us investigate? No, well, I won't. Say that our farewell meal didn't I wanna, uh, wanna go back to Mondstadt and do something. I don't even know what I'll do in Mondstadt. A messing with us will cost them. Uh, this will prove to be their biggest mistake. Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. Yeah. Well, you talk too much. Well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. Whatever. We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. Let's hope I don't get attacked we'll like what happened in Star Rail. Time, I guess. <laughs> don't worry, you two. With us around, our base is definitely secure. Okay. Uh, what the fuck did that say? Got an achievement though. Uh, click this, claim it, and I didn't read it. Okay. So use the Omni net uh, to capture thirty wild animals. I only have one wild animal. Okay. Where did I get that one wild animal from? But I believe my Fontaine level is at like um two for the statue of the seven. You know. Come back over here. I think it's at level two. Let me check. I got quite a bit of uh quite a bit of the these things on uh the hydro cluster. So I'm at level two. I'm halfway there. I need eleven more, and then I get I can get uh, the memory of running stream, and then I can uh I can see one my traveler. All right? It's C one. Uh, do I have any? I'm pretty sure it's C one, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, C one. I don't have to. okay what's this is that pima is imagine okay let's head over to over there um where are we going again um we're going down there are we gonna go see like lenny and lynette or no they don't live in the they don't live down there or do they actually yeah do they no no where the fuck are we going oh we're going to spin the deep uh rosel I forgot we're going to the stronghold, the place uh to lay low. It's right up ahead, but let's make sure we weren't followed first. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Very good. People but in hiding are going to down. try to avoid I getting spotted, so you know. Case. Thank you, Malus. Now let's continue, traveler. Yeah, let's continue. Let's head back down like the faint moonlight. Okay, and jump down. Uh, uh, go down. This looks really dangerous. Uh, get off the wall. Get off. Get off. Get off the wall. Is that so? Like, okay. Okay. Oh, we're in the sewers. <laughs> we're in the sewers. Holy Jesus. Look at this. We're going downstairs. Why are there kids in here? Bro, why, why, why do people live down here? Like my guy, we're in the sewers. Why are the why is what's what the fuck? Fucking cat, fucking cat. The f <laughs> cat jumped. <laughs> okay, but there is a tele. That's where the teleport waypoint is. Ah, so it was down here. The one teleport waypoint that I've been trying to find, um, was down here. So bam, now I have all teleport waypoints. All teleport waypoints in this area i'm missing just two up there and one over there i'm missing only th three teleport waypoints and fontaine left but i'll worry about that later 
We're going to talk to Melus, which is, he's over there. Yo, Melus, Mr. Melus, let's uh, talk to you. So, uh, this is your base? It's not quite what Paimon imagined. Your accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Uh, well, so much for my expectation. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, our funds have been a little tight lately. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. <laughs> In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. To be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father? He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... He got turned... Uh, he got dissolved. <laughs> I'll explain it myself. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. My father's name is Callus. Yes. Callus. The same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. Three years ago, I've never he heard of that name of before. Murdering his own friend, but he chose um, a duel to defend God his damn. honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Oh no! Seems like he was an idiot. But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm okay. Sure he was the time, I believe so, that if he what? only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. But strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, but rumor has it that even after being seriously injured, to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender, determined to die in the arena. God damn, bro. Later, I still don't understand why he did that. Because he was an idiot. How he protect his honor if he's dead? If anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. It does seem quite odd. Do you have any clues as to why? It does seem quite odd. The piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. So that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I've also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in. But I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. Why would However, you? I believe that if the it's an old case, case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. Was my father coerced? Framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. Then, then do it. Do it then. When he was still alive. He even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. And now, here I am investigating his death. You really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Uh, seeking the... Bro, what the fuck was that? Uh, seeking the truth for the sake of your family. Yep, Dominic Toretto, you know, it's, it's all for family. Uh, you know, we're quite alike in this regard. Demoiselle, please, if there is anything I can do, anything at all, I also Jump off a building. Never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. There are none whom I respect more than the two of you, Demoiselle. No, that's wrong. Callus did so much good in life, yet all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. Ah, uh, yeah. Even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident. Hence our uh, strained finances at present. Wait, if Callus was such a good man. Wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? Bro. Well, perhaps people just revel in that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. How would you know? They love watching the evil turn over a new leaf. But they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip-up just The abyss? But never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. And there is one other thing. Master Callus's opponent in the duel was Ms. Coran. Oh. God damn. Uh, well, then, isn't that as good as saying that she was the one who killed him? No wonder the mood was a little strange between the two of you. Yeah. You can just let go and move on. Miss Clorand has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. 
If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, but seeing how he was resolute in the arena, there was only ever one choice she could have made. It's not that I don't understand her at all, but uh, I just can't deal with this yet. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself Paimon, to do that. Paimon, you have no family, Paimon. Afterward, Ms. Koran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. Then that indicates that he intended to die in that duel. Yes, that is our understanding as well. Oh, Papa. What madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? All right. Anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound Give like I was more. just towards the end. Give me more. No, it's all right. I understand how important it is. Uh, no, it's... You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm on feet. Please, relax <sighs> and get some sleep. We will ensure you rest soundly. Sure. Okay. Like the faint moonlight of yesteryear, rest in your room. Okay. Is this my room? I guess so.